So hello everyone, welcome Monder here, and we'll give you my live reaction of Zero Card episode 9. It's extremely delayed, you can see it's super dark around here. You're watching Pedals, like it was appeared to do before this, it's not even coming today. So yeah, this is like 3 hours, this should be now 3 hours earlier. Uh, you watch Pedals seems to be completely gone, I, I don't know. Whatever. Um, I, mean, I think it's a pretty good episode, probably not super good last week, but probably isn't good. It's gonna be a lot about... Uh, you know, Hamund, the wolf guy, right? And he's gonna, you know, it's interesting to see his uh, him and Albus react and so on. And I think that Beast guy and Wolf guy and Hamund, they were very interesting. You know, they had this great dynamic. I think it's actually quite funny. So it's a really funny character. I think that, I think he's a great addition for the the adventure team. So anyway, let's watch it before it gets super late here. So three, two, one, and go. I'm a little slower, but yeah. About that. Well, yeah, so as I recap in the last week when they were Send the assassins, I want them alive! I just loved the part last week, I just loved the part last week. I want to make it closer. No, I just loved it. Yeah, that's not when they would die. Yes. My life. <laughs> yes. Oh god, this this line is so weird. It's like send the assassins. I want them alive. <laughs> and it really is like no. It's like he really says the word for assassin. Yes, maybe. It's like I mean, I read some comments about it last week. People were like maybe they should sub it to uh, special force or something. And I was like, what medieval time? Yeah, but that's a new count there. Isn't that a guy? <laughs> it's made it to be beautiful. <laughs> the whole living is like, what man? He's great. What are you all son? Yeah, I knew it, I knew it. What are you all son? I knew it. <laughs> she probably hates holding them. It's like a pervert wolf guy she grew up with. <laughs> yeah, she's like, no, not the pervert wolf guy! He abused to us a kid, yeah, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, but I knew it, I was like, he's gonna speak, oh, your son! And then, there we go, yeah, and then they added the student after chat. Very predictable humor in that sense, but, um, but yeah, she didn't seem too happy to uh, get hugged there by Holden, so we will see what that's about. And I just loved that, like, like last week, I just loved how they added in Holden in the end there. And I mean, I was like, yes, there he is. I mean, I knew he was going to be on the main team. It's so obvious. It's in episode one, because you credit episode one. And as soon as you see him, right, in the, in the opening last week, it's like, yes, there he is. He has two scenes. Because no, this is the scene where he's the first scene, he's like the smile there. But they also added him in in the last scene, he's opening right now, right? So this is like the third worst opening. Because also they added in 13's face in an earlier, in the scenes coming soon here. That's cloaked shadowed like in the first three episodes, and then you see his face and his black border looks, and then and hold them right in the end of this third version of the opening. So I was like, yes, <laughs> so that's really good. Yeah, that's her TD, right? So that's the second version of the opening when that happens, and you see the trap man there, this is Serena, and then they're zooming out here, right? And you see them standing here on the edge. And here we have, yeah, and there we have Holden, right? So this is the third version of the opening. I just love it. That's a really good detail here. How they ended that up in there, this is really good. Okay. Should we beat at this? She a real aura woman, eh? I'm like, sort of tricking you, but you me first. Yeah, I was like, come on. He tricked me also. <laughs> I don't trust you, you trust me. Pretty much, right? That was really weird, though, because I had a free screen on hold them for like 10 seconds there. I was like, did, uh, did the computer bug? <laughs> they had a screen with him like, standing at this 
for like 10 seconds. So I was like, what? And that seems to be actually in there. So my computer that lags me, they actually seem to be in there. So that's a little weird. Yeah, it makes sense because you're protecting Serena's dream and, and so on, right? On Twitches. I wonder if 13 knows that she's Serena's granddaughter. Yeah, what to see her, right? <laughs> Throwing spoons at him. God, how she eats her food then. Hmm. Yeah, I was like, you didn't... Does she have a contract somehow? Huh. Hancock's Assassin's scene opening, yeah. Nice, can he hold him here? <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm not like zero, but I can do something. Hmm. It's gonna be a fight here soon. <laughs> oh, this guy. He's yeah, I love him. <laughs> oh, magic. <laughs> it's like, yeah, but if only. <laughs> Man, so hold him back in this classic suit. <laughs> is a genius. Biska is a genius. Nice map there. Okay, interesting. Oh, nice. Yeah, so there's a pentagram. Yes, that's nice. That's nice. So, yeah, it makes sense now. <laughs> They're like, yeah. Everyone's like, yeah, it makes perfect sense. You draw this pentagram over the world map, it's like, there you should go. <laughs> yeah, you GPS in the there, there's the magic. That's gonna be, that's where stuff happens. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. I just saw the whole thing. They were uh, her getting wounded, and everything. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Forget about that. I forget about that. Too. Yeah, and he's still trying to convince her to go back to the caves. Yeah, but I mean the whole thing is that that's why he needs to get them alive, right? Even just the assassins. <laughs> it's like he needs them alive because... I watched that so... Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking like, who bites you? I was like, oh god, I don't remember. Oh my god, I was like, who... who? He gets bit by whole level. He gets he gets he gets bit by that weird soldier guy. That's how he got that dude. Oh god. 
It's like, I, like, I, like, I, like, I had like ignored it in my brain. I like removed it out of my brain how she got that. Or he got that bite mark. I was like, oh my god, yeah, that's, that's an uber weird scene where the guy is trying to sort of biting him and did this weird smile. And I was like, oh my god, what is this scene? Yeah, that's how she got it. I, um, I completely blanked out on that. Like, forcefully, forcefully forgot about that. I love him. Okay. Ah, hold this good character. Ugh. Yeah. The perverted shopkeeper. It's a lot of good characters in this anime. Okay, yeah. Oh, no, no, not the dear ears. Not the dear. Yeah, like, see his ears are snapping up the sound right there. Yeah, so now they're aware of them. The assistants. Oh, nice, yeah. It's a lot of bombs, you know, and Merc. This is a plan, it's like, Yeah, yeah, get up, get up on me, girl. <laughs> That's <laughs> nice, nice, nice there. Nice plan. A <laughs> little trip there, a trip wire attack. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna clumsy for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it should be a little better. Agility based character, right? Like, yeah. Yeah, not trapping them in some kind of, yeah. Hmm, interesting. A classic show trap there, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, run you fast guy, you're, 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 you're the guy with high speed. Like, ah, come on, I don't want to do it. <laughs> Oh no, yeah, <laughs> Oh god, this is probably a bleach. Oh my god, this is, yeah, this is straight bleach, bro. This is straight by the bleach, right? Each good throw in Ruka to, to red you. Oh man. <laughs> See, that, yeah, he, this actually, they're actually, but that's very similar. Like, he's very similar to red, so, yeah, to red gene. He's very, oh my god, yeah, think about it. And she's actually very tired to Alvarez versus Ruka. Yeah. Oh my god. And an ability, kind of, yeah, wow. That is maybe real as how similar they actually are in a big way there. <laughs> yeah, we're back at the first town, right? <laughs> Get hungry, you know. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, back to the Get her clothes. <laughs> God, what? <laughs> well, he's, a, he's like, yeah, that guy's a little perverted. He's really okay. He has like painting. Oh my God, like a shrine of her, right? A yeah, medieval shrine of someone. <laughs> You're like, yeah, let's just get the cloak. That man isn't worth anything to him. Yeah, see, he wanted, he rather wants the cloak than the money, clearly. What is this character? <laughs> what is this? What is this? Like, God, this com this sex comedy in this anime is a weird stuff. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, guys, these actors are cringe funny. Oh my god. Okay, so now we can use the magic here with the... <laughs> I can feel sore as worried. I was like, no! <laughs> this is just so weird. <laughs> I was like, okay! Okay, old man. We fixed it for you. Yeah, it's true. Holy match is not so magic. But he knows about like the weak magician to go, oh, they can't even create these guys, oh yeah, so he knows some stuff actually. It's somewhat, uh, well, everything about him probably lived with Serena for years, right? So, uh, yeah, because uh, Albus was maybe one or so, and then at least, at least 10 years old when he skated, probably older, like 15, 14, whatever, it's unclear. But he lived for, with Serena for at least like, 10 years, right? So I guess he's seen a lot of magic that she created and so on. Nice animation. They really do animate some stuff really nice in this anime. Uh, this is really nice. This, oh, this reminds me a lot of um, Plus X. Yeah, Plus X, definitely. Give me the Cerebro. Uh, they kind of the same thing, right? But yeah, it's giving me the Cerebro feel there. Kind of hearing people's voices and seeing the magic and so on, yeah. So now they know the stuff. Back to him betraying her there. <laughs> that is cute, like, yeah, like, I'm carrying you, what do you want to don't worry. Oh, it's nice. <laughs> yeah, nice duo. Now you can... Can I climb, I guess? Got a fight for your love. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, ah, uh, no humans can do it, but you, big bro, you, yeah. I was like, we're saying, oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, I got it's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. First, I was like, huh? Like, no, 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 I understand it. And it's like, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, of course. Big bro! Yeah, needs to get his woman back. And yeah, obviously they're running around. And they are running around, whole them is running around so they can craft the pentagram, um, you know, the hotspots, I remember it. Assassin's movie? Whoa! Witch hunters, maybe? Like all of five of Yeah, like what the hell happened there? Okay, he's finally reaching the window here. <laughs> Some random maid was like, yeah, like threw some trash or something <laughs> through the window. It's like, Ooh, that's close. Oh, that was nice. Uh oh. Oh, oh, no, no, no.
Ja, oh, det är Serena Paper. Ja, det är Green Cloud. Ja, det är det samma kolor. Ja, det är samma kolor som i episode 5, right? Ja. Yeah. That's true. Nej, jag tror att det har så här det att... Vad du kallar det? The red gem thing they have in their like, necklace thing. That everyone seems to have when they are in Serena's gang. And this redhead woman is a bit special. I'm not sure you track, but I mean, yeah, she's a much more, you know. She's also a random no-name character, like the guys in the background. You don't, you don't really want to follow Albus and DC. Albus is like, I have this new idea, you can do it. Like, nope. So they're betraying them all, yeah. So what do you have to go for? Yeah, because they were like, you're traitors. So I was like, huh? Obviously they didn't fall out and die. <laughs> that, would be, that would be a little like, yeah. Uh... Well, I didn't betray the traitor there so easily. I was like, I mean, she was trying to make a speech. I was like, maybe she can talk Nutsu her out of it. It's like, nope, nope, you're the traitor. <laughs> I was like, I was a little waiting there. I was like, wait, is she the traitor? Yeah, she's the traitor. Felt a little too convenient there. They're like, nope. <laughs> I was completely ignoring her, uh, her speech. Yeah. Um... Yeah, it felt like it felt like she had a chance, right? No, this thing was a little weird to me. Uh, a little weird, but I, it's, uh, maybe because I watched so much narrative or something. But it just felt like, okay, she's doing a speech. She's gonna do this, like, oh, you're traitors, but look, look at this thing. Let's steal away the magic, or you know, whatever, right? And they're, they're like, no, catch, catch. <laughs> I was like, it actually was good. The more I think about it, I actually liked it more. Uh, but at the moment, I was like, traitors. Oh, the traitor. <laughs> I almost like, a little shocked there. I was like, wait, you're actually just gonna betray her without, okay. <laughs> like, this is not your <laughs> ordinary shonen anime manga where he was talking about this place and like the main character or kind of the main squad, right? So that was good, that was good. Um, the Falling Dawn part of it was a little redundant or whatever you want to call it because, I mean, it's obvious like he's gonna like climb up onto the top, fall down and go down to the middle, right? And he's like, yeah, like he's not gonna fall down and die. Obviously not. He's gonna. So yeah, yeah, I'm not a big fan of those kind of scenes. Um, because it just feels like there's no real tension, right? There's no real actual. You don't sit think, oh shit, he's gonna die now. Like no one, no one ever thinks that. No one ever believes that. And um, and on the same time, I mean, the effect is basically just like okay, we you know play out. anyway. The preview. Okay, so they sit on a cage here, zero and yeah, thirteen probably beaten up, uh, beast. So obviously it's gonna, <laughs> obviously it's gonna get into it at least. Obviously he actually will be able to reason there. Yeah, but, but that doesn't mean right. It's like, it's like there is no actual tension or drama there, whatever you call it. You know that he's gonna be fine. 
Um, so they're showing it like, okay, clubbing up, falling down, like, it's just like a time waste, really. Not a big fan of that. Um, it's, I'll say it in a bit. But otherwise, yeah, pretty good episode. They had kind of what I expected to have, like good jokes, generally funny ba- banter between, um, uh, you know, the Beast guys, right? Hold them and, well, Merc or Beast guy there because he has no name, right? But yeah, so they have this, a good banter, some banter between Hold them and Albus, and like, yeah, like, he's like, oh, you're so bad, we carry you, and so on. So pretty, pretty funny. Um, overall, that was like, they made this like sex jokes thing, which I actually kind of like in this anime. But, uh, because they do it kind of absurdly, but that, that was kind of like, okay, this is weird now. That scene was a little weird. Um, when you get into that mer- um, merchant guy, and he's like, you know, like, take it, like, put up her, um, her cloak. And I was like, oh my god. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna rewatch it in the new full review. See you guys later, and have a great day.